If custom views is something that you're likely to be using on a regular basis, then we can make the changing between your custom views even easier than it is already. So taking the custom views file, we know that on the view ribbon, there is a custom views option, which allows you to click, choose the view you wish to see and show, or we can double click, which is the same as showing, and that view is then displayed. How we can make things just a slight bit quicker is, for example, to perhaps add to here, where we have some space on our ribbon, a drop down list of the views that are available in this particular sheet. And then I can simply choose from the drop down list. That sounds pretty good, Guy. How do I do that? Well, this requires you to edit the ribbon. So we go to, well, we can go to a few places. We can go to the little drop down here and choose more commands, or you can right click on your ribbon and choose customize the ribbon. The advantage to right clicking and customizing the ribbon is it will take you to the correct ribbon. So just show me the view ribbon here. So these are the groups on my view ribbon. So I have a group for workbook views, zoom, show, windows, macros. What I need to do is add a new group to this ribbon. So that's a new group. I could do with giving that new group a sensible name, which I'm going to call views. Okay. And then in the list of commands, if I choose all commands and then scroll down to the custom views, you'll find there are two options. The second one here with the little icon next to it is actually the same command that you already have on the ribbons under workbook views. The upper one, however, custom views is our little drop list. So if you take that command and drag it across and let go when it's on your new group, you'll see that there is a no entry sign if you try to drop it on an existing group in the ribbon. So it has to go on your own group. I let go and custom views appears. And we can even give that a little rename and call it my views. Okay. So that's find the custom views in here and drop it into your new group that you've already added to the view ribbon. Now it doesn't necessarily have to be to the view ribbon, but it makes logical sense. Everything for views is on the view ribbon. So we're going to stay on the same ribbon. I then say, okay. And you see that on the view ribbon, I now have a little group called views and it has a drop down arrow with my three custom views. So I simply choose the one I would like to see, CEO, quarters, and full view. Much quicker than clicking custom views, choosing the option and show. So three clicks become one click, which is all less work. And because you've added this to your ribbon, it will be in your ribbon all the time that you're in Excel and any other workbooks or worksheets that have views within them those views will appear here in this list so you can quickly change between them. If at some point you no longer wish to have this on your ribbon, then you can right click, go to customize the ribbon, come down to your new group and simply remove the group. Okay. And it disappears from the end of the view ribbon. So that's just adding effectively a quicker shortcut to your ribbons to access all of your custom views.